One of the things that I found really interesting when um, I was reading your book, especially in the spring, is like in terms of developing my leadership, so I'm a teacher, but I also have other teachers that I work with, Mm -hmm. um, was that idea of like being willing to have hard conversations. And I think that was for me, it was something that sparked probably some growth because I like to avoid hard conversations. (laughs) And... um, thinking intentionally about people that are under me. But as a teacher, one of the things I also think about is all of the students that I have. Mm -hmm. And I know all of us are like that, where we come into contact with so many people during the day. But I think one of the biggest things in my life that I fight is um, like the sense of urgency of everything I need to get through as a teacher, like all the curriculum and all the busyness and, you know, in just in terms of everyday life. And I wonder if you have anything that you find really helpful or useful in terms of sort of like setting some of the less important but still urgent things at bay to sort of keep the important things in the forefront. Like a scheduling type or what do you mean more? Uh, Yeah, I guess like I know you have some activities in your book of sort of like writing things down. But Mm -hmm. I guess, yeah, I was just wondering if like even in your own life, um, what you find helpful to in terms of like sorting out the urgent from mm. the important and I um, well a couple things I'm pretty religious with my schedule I have a I have a schedule it's color coded it has all the things in it and it, it creates a nice framework for me uh, I think the other thing is and. I think I might have read this in a book a few years ago. But the thing that you least want to do, do do that first in the day. Then everything else is just way easier. So I try to remember that as well. The thing that I least want to do, do that first. And then I think um, the other thing is with, I'm on the road a lot and I'm doing lots of different things. I keep my purpose in the forefront of my mind and that helps me discern whether something is a, a a distraction or a provision. Is it is it aligned? Is this aligned with my why? Is this aligned with my purpose, or is it just something that it's cool? I could do it. I might you know might be fun, or I might feel like I should do it. But is it really aligned with my purpose? So what I'm what I'm finding as I get older is that when I'm really clear on my purpose, I don't say yes when I mean no. And that clears a lot of stuff out of the way to begin with. And then just then once I've said the yes is disciplining my mind to be present wherever I am because I have the, the you know there's a list that's going and I just keep like no if I'm present, I will have everything I need. And I think it's partly the way that I, the way I understand resource, understand resource and God's abundance, uh, a bit like manna. So manna comes, it's there for the day and you, you know, can't save yesterday's, you don't get tomorrow's, it's just there. And so I think about resource like manna and I think, well, God's abundant. He's always providing. So, There is every, I have everything I need right now. And if I stay here in this moment, I will have access to it. But if I trip, if I future trip, you know, or if I go back to the past or gear, guilt or anxiety, and if I lose my present, I'm probably going to miss resource. So I think it's a combination of a lot of, a, a lot of different pieces. And I don't know if that answers your question or that, does that make sense? Does that help? Okay. Yeah. I think the resistance too. I know you started off saying like you don't necessarily like to have difficult conversations. I mean, I don't honestly. I don't really like to have them either. I just have them. <laughs> I just. <laughs> I'm not like woohoo difficult. Go, you know. I just do it. I I don't love it. <laughs> but I notice if I'm not doing it, then I, I'm spending a lot of energy on the not doing it part, and then the tripping out about it in my head. I'm like, oh my, and trying to have both sides of the conversation. Right. And, you know, and then, well, what about this? And maybe I said, and that takes a lot of energy. So I try to like, (laughs) thank you.